Oh, oh, hello. How are you? Welcome back to Crafters TV. Uh, my name is Joe. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you company. Uh, we are back with you for our final instalment of the day. It's of course, Creative Cravings. It would not, I know what you're thinking, hang on a minute, it's Thursday. Cartload on Thursday at this time. It would normally be a cartload this time on Thursday. We had a special uh, cartload last night with the lovely Sarah. So therefore, uh, Creative Cravings has moved to the light. Only for this week. Next week, we'll all be back to normal uh, again. So uh, don't you worry about that. Now, I am not here on my own. We are I've got lots of fantastic deals for you and fantastic guests as well. Uh, Michelle McCarthy is back in the building with me. How are you, Michelle? Uh, I'm, I'm great, thank you. Good. I'm very good. So glad to have you back. Loads of great stuff on the show tonight. Uh, what sort of stuff have we got to look forward to? So I've got, I've got a few samples to show you. So we have these beautiful um, 3D dimensionals. So Johnny likes that apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, that's our pumpkin. Then we've got our beautiful baubles, our grande baubles. Then we've got these beautiful stars coming up as well. I do love these. Perfect for Christmas, especially now. Lots of inspiration for you. Then we've got these interchangeable um, stamps with the little stenciling for your sentiment in the middle. So we've got that one, and then totally different look just by changing those colours. A lovely um, stepper card, or as I like to call it, an M-shaped card. An M-shaped card? Yes. Why is it an M-shaped card? Because it's after me. Oh. M for Michelle. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name the other day, and it just looked like an M, so oh, I went yeah. with M-shaped card. It's an M-shaped card. Why it not? It's an M-shaped card. Why not? Oh, glitter pens, our glitter markers. So, nice, um, you, shiny. Yes, yeah, shiny, glittery, lovely unicorn with those. Um, bit of Miracast, nice big um, stamps, nice big stamps, and coloured in with that glitter. I, I couldn't think of my words. It's definitely my faux Friday today. Is it? In fact, it is my faux Friday today, so faux you'll Friday. have to forgive me. I might oh. speak a bit more nonsense than usual, but. We, we, are, we love a bit of nonsense here, don't you worry about that. You're in the right place if you are after some nonsense. Uh, now, Michelle is here with us. Also, a back by popular demand. You saw him this morning on the wake-up call. He's back in the building. Andrew's with us. How are you, Andrew? I'm very well, thank you, Joe. Thank you uh, very much. Are you feeling ready to go, like a coiled spring? Absolutely, yeah. I'm going to be making uh, the elegant star, so uh, I'm feeling very Christmassy. So uh, hopefully by the end you'll feel Christmassy as well. We look forward to feeling very Christmassy in a very elegant kind of way uh, with Andrew a little bit later. So uh, do stick around for that. There's loads of great deals uh, in the show for you as well. Uh, we're going to kick things off with these awesome dies. Now, these are utterly fabulous. They are centerpiece creator card uh, die eight piece collection. They are back in stock for you as well. They did sell out. Not only have we bought them back in stock, we've slapped a juicy discount on there for you as well. Uh, 20 pounds almost in the UK, over $25. Everyone's gonna save. Everyone's gonna be able to use their Club Inspire discount on top of that as well. Let me take you through the designs that you've got then in here. So you've got that fabulous cat just there, as you can see. Brilliant for silhouette cards, but lots of other things you can do with these, which I'll show you in just a second. We've got the dogs there. Uh, we've got those beautiful butterflies there as well. They are definitely upside down. Uh, you've got those gorgeous butterflies, which are just there. Uh, you've also got the roses within here as well. Uh, then we've got that fabulous <laughs> unicorn and the woodland there. What you can also do with this, you could actually keep the unicorn in, remove the woodland, or you could take the wood out. No, you could take the unicorn out and leave the woodland there. It's completely up to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nearly. Uh, <laughs> you've got that wonderful fairy in there as well. I love how whimsical uh, all of these are. We have the trees there. You saw Andrew uh, demonstrating that one in the earlier show today as well. And you've got those fantastic stags in there as well. <laughs> Should we just start the show again, Michelle? <laughs> Should we just start it again? Let me show you some of the concepts that you can do with these because there are loads of things that can be done. Lots of different versatile ways of using these. Uh, brilliant for something like a Z Fold card. Don't just think about using one of these. You can absolutely use multiples of these on your projects as well. Uh, a very simple tent fold uh, style card there. Uh, think about using them. I love this style of card, sort of an illusion easel, as you can see with that cut into the panel there. Absolutely use multiples of them as well. A, sim a simple left fold card there. Gatefold cards, they work perfectly on as well. 
here we've got uh, a wonderful use them as a panel uh, and also there as a fold back card you can see uh, what we've got here a side stepper card there's loads of different ways uh, that you can put these uh, to use the other great thing is they give you do you know what they give you michelle Yes, but I can't remember. They give you an opportunity to craft, <laughs> don't they? Oh, yeah, they do. So think about what you're going to put behind these. Is it going to be pattern papers? Is it going to be uh, your colour wash backgrounds? Are you going to get sparkle pens involved? I think these are crying out uh, for sparkle pens, these. But loads of different ways. And that is just really touching, scraping the surface. Love it on that double Z fold card there as well. So loads of different ways you can use them. They are back in stock and you have got a fantastic saving on them as well. And I believe this is where the lovely Michelle is going to kick things off. I am. I'm going to kick things off with this um, beautiful Enchanted Forest Creator card. So with that beautiful snippability um, factor in these, you know, get rid of your forest, leave your unicorn, or get rid of your unicorn and leave your forest. It's entirely up to you because they are Creator card. <laughs> so we've took out um, our not, die. Not sure why Michelle's giggling. No one's actually talking either. She's just having a good old chuckle to herself over there. I love it. Sometimes you just sort of amuse yourself and, you know, you just have to go with it. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got this beautiful die and as you can see, there's no outside edge. Um, so it's just going to go in your card, sit in your card and cut it out that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a Z fold card with this. So I'm just going to bring my plates in. And I've already, so I've already cut my um, card down. So I've, it's a full 12 by 12 piece. So it's 12 by six and then 12 by three. So I've cut this piece long enough or wide enough. So let me just fold that so I can see where I'm going. So that will sit in there just perfectly. And I've got some tape and I'm gonna tape it into place. Just there and there. And these, um, these dies, I don't need that piece, will go through all the way down to your mini. So they oh, will really? go down to your mini. So depending on what size of card you are cutting into, you can run it through the mini, midi, um, junior, this one, or the big beast, the Gemini Pro, which I, um, I got to have a play with this week. And oh my God. All you who have got it, you're so lucky. And all you who haven't got it, you really need it. All right, is it on your wish list, Michelle? It is on my wish list. It's on my Christmas list. Is for it? For sure, yeah. Well, are you, on the, are you on the nice list or the naughty list? Um, I'd like to think I'm on the nice list, but in reality, I'm probably not. Aww. And I have no idea why. <laughs> so look at that, cutting beautifully. So I'm just going to tap my pieces out. Oh... I could use my brush, but Leanne's not about, so I'm allowed to tap it, but only gently. Only gently, only yes, gently. And only, only on the back, apparently. Yes, only on the back side. Absolutely. The thing <laughs> 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 so, yes, only on its back side. If you tap it on the front, you're going to damage your cutting edge. So if you're going to give it a tap, a gentle one on its back side. <laughs> So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on again and I'm going to cut it out again. Nice sizes, aren't they? I mean, because they are that bit smaller, if you do want to double them up, you can use multiples of them, of course. It gives oh, yeah. you a lot of options. I think we seem to be seeing a lot of smaller cards at the moment as well. So great to have something that lends itself to that as well as a bigger card concept when you need it to. Yeah, um, the smaller cards and your slimline cards um, are quite on trend at the moment. So these are absolutely perfect for that. But if you want to make a bigger card, obviously you still can. Um, and again, you could put this on a, a bigger card multiple times. You know, you don't just have to use it once. But I must admit, I do li I like a big card. Do you? Do you yeah. remember when back in the day, like the bigger the card, the better? Do you remember, I remember being like nine years old and getting some cards that were like, Yay big, like as big yeah. as you. Went for a and they were always padded, weren't they? Yes, <laughs> yes, you were. Cards. So just tap my bits out. So there we go. Um, so that's my um, front for my uh, Z fold card. All right, Barbara suggests you can just clip the horn off and you can make it a horse. <gasps> you can't do that. I know. Uh, that would suggest that the diff only difference between a horse and a unicorn is the horn. 
Absolutely. Uh, well, I think there's more magical powers at play than that, personally. I think so. I absolutely agree. So, what I'm doing is I'm just re scarring my three inch line. So, my six inch and then my um, three inch, or my six inch, inch and my nine inch, depending on which way you're scarring. So, I'm just going to give them a good but gentle. So, there we go. So, that's, that's that piece. We're going to bring this piece in and we're going to go on them scar lines. Just fold that back. And what card, how heavy was this cardstock, did you say, Michelle? So this cardstock that I've used, um, it's from one of our older pads. So I think it's only about a, two, a 250, this one. Perfect. Um, so what we're going to do now, so I have my, let me just fold that back that way. So I have the base of my card, but obviously it's not standing out very much. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of inking. So I'm going to bring two pieces of um, card in and I'm going to bring in some of my water reactive inks. So what I have got is I've got Chinese red, straw bale and orange. And what I want to do is give it like um, a bit of a sunset vibe to it. So I'm going to go in with my... Chinese red first. I'm just going to dab a bit off because I don't want too much on. Because I'm going to go straight into the middle. I've dabbed it off because I don't want to have um, the mark of my um, tool, my blending tool. So always go in gently. You can always add more, but you can't take away. So we're going to do both of these. So I'm going to do again, put it on and take a bit off and go on gently because this is going to go behind I don't have to be too particular or too oh, too perfect with how I'm blending this in and this um, is actually from we've got a 12 by 12 um, pad with multiple colors in and they're about 180 to 200 GSM in there right um, it's a pad that we've had out for a while um, but they're a lot thinner in there, so this is perfect because I want to layer it behind here, but still get so still get this bend on it. If I'm putting two, three hundred GSMs together, it's gonna that fold's not gonna be what I want it to be. So I've used this from that um, paper pad. So I'm gonna go in with my orange. I'll just take a bit off again. Let me just get a bit of um, just a bit of kitchen roll, so I don't get fingerprints everywhere. So I'm just going to go round my red and blend it out. They do blend, blend together seamlessly these, don't they? They blend together beautifully, they really do. And I love um, blending these together, layering them up, because I love the different colours that they um, blend into. And I think we know I love blending my, I think it's my straw bale or my lemon tonic with my orange, with my red actually, because it creates the most beautiful orange. And I know we do have an orange ink pad, but it creates a different It's somehow shade a bit more organic, a, isn't it, when it blends yeah. the two together? Yeah, I think it's quite nice to be able to make your own colours up from mm, the pads. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because so. you think about the possibility of colours and if you blend them all up. Mm. I mean, there's loads. I mean, you've got Definitely. hundreds of new colours. Yeah. And then hundreds of new shades of those new yeah. colours, depending on what you work, you Absolutely. know, the intensity at the moment. That's it. Fabulous. That's it. There is... Uh, so it's literally... It's, I mean, you know, if you go to your colour wheel and you look at the colours that uh, are next to each other, that blend with each other, things like that, it's going to work the same with your ink pads. They're going to create the new colours that um, you're looking for and wanting. I think I could do one of those colour wheels when I get dressed, you know. <laughs> do you see what I come in looking like? If you see my, just my coat on its own when I come to work, you'd think, uh, uh, oh. you'd think that I maybe need, a, uh, I maybe need a, a colour wheel to get dressed. <laughs> I absolutely love your coat, Joe. Do I you? Think it's fabulous. Yeah. I like a Neapolitan ice cream, don't I? Yeah. Maybe that's why I think it's fabulous, because it reminds me of ice cream. Mm. You can't beat a good ice cream. Ooh. You really can't. Mint choc chip, I Oh, think. no. No? No, I'm not thinking uh, vanilla, Adam. Vanilla ice cream. Mm. Surprises me, Adam, I'm going to have to say. 
yeah. I thought you'd be a bit more sort of out there with the, the, the you, when, I, when I look at you I don't see vanilla for some reason <laughs> um, um, yeah <laughs> let's move on what would yours be Andrew? Uh, chocolate just just chocolate just chocolate dark chocolate or milk chocolate or dark chocolate dark chocolate delicious dark chocolate. Uh, mine is uh, from when we went to, I know <laughs> We went, uh, uh, myself and a friend last year went to Florence and we had this one particular ice cream, Michelle, mm. and it was a buttered salted caramel <gasps> and it tasted like a Rolo yogurt, but in an ice cream. Oh, it was amazing. Wow. And then when I went back to Tuscany uh, in October, I actually made all my friends on the way to the airport go via Florence so we could go and have the same ice cream <laughs> in the same place again. <laughs> oh, it was so good. It was worth a detour. Oh, that sounds lovely. So, so good. Do you know what my mum's favourite was? Rum and raisin. Oh, you can't beat a rum and oh, raisin. Oh no, no, that's just that's just no, it's not right. But if you just if you want to be fancy, you can say are oh, you in you like sultana masala because that's what they call it in Italy. Really? It's essentially, just rum and raisin, yeah. <laughs> so it's still not nice though. Oh, I don't think it's that bad. No. Mm -mm. Uh, lots of people tuning in saying hello this evening from all over, which is always lovely, isn't it? Barbara says good afternoon from Indiana. Cheryl's in Alaska. Cheryl, I bet it is freezing there. I'd love to know what the temperature's like. Uh, Janice is in West Virginia. Deborah's in New York. Uh, the lovely Katie Easley is in sunny California. Ben McCarthy's in the building as well. Uh, hi, Ben. We are fully out of baked goods. We really are. Last yeah. night. I mean, we did well. A few days <laughs> worth, but we are, we are out. We did, they lasted a while. Um, I think Sarah had the last piece last night, didn't she? She did indeed. Uh, Michelle's husband, Ben, just makes, he just always sends delicious baked goods in. Uh, it was the cookie cake, we had a cookie, a cookie pie recently, didn't Chocolate we? Chocolate chip cookie Chocolate pie. Chocolate chip cookies, which yeah. are just to die for. Uh, and this week it was a millionaire shortbread as well. Oh, heavenly, absolutely heavenly. Yeah, I messaged him on, on the day, so I came up mon uh, Sunday night for Monday. Um, and I rang him Monday morning and he says, I, I feel a little lost today. And I was like, why? He's like, I've got nothing to be. <laughs> so I says, I'll take orders. Yes, absolutely yeah. do. Uh, Anne asks, is it only considered as a Z fold if it includes the front part? I actually know the answer to this, Michelle. So oh, I'm going to go for it. Go In for a it. university challenge style where I don't know the answer to any questions normally, this is one I think I know. So apparently Z fold is the actual back bit of the card. And if it's got the front bit on, it's a double Z fold. Double, yes. Yeah, it is. There you are. Look at I know. You. I'm here a week. Well, I'm not actually. It's my last day tomorrow. But. <laughs> so what I've done is I've stuck one on the back of this piece, and as you can see, it makes it stand out lovely. And then this next next piece I've scored in half. So, and then. <laughs> and then this one's going to go behind there. So again, I'm going to use my dotted tape pen. So. <laughs> so if anyone follows me on my um, Facebook, on, on your my website, Insta get, uh, uh, yeah, on my website, or your Insta what? On my Instagram. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I posted a fabulous um, picture today of, um, you took the picture of us I did three, indeed, didn't yes. You? But the way that you were stood, you stood in front of the sign I behind did. me. <laughs> and it looks like he's, he's look, so that Santa hat you can see behind me, Joe was stood perfectly. So the Santa hat was, looked was like it was on his head. <laughs> but then he had this, his jumper that he's got on now. So he looks like this little miniature elf sort of in, in midair stood with uh, <laughs> me and I Andrew. wish I had this oh. elf's figure. <laughs> Yeah, me too. So if you don't if you don't follow any of my socials, firstly, why not? Why not? And secondly, go have a look because it's hilarious. It's just um, so I am Facebook and Instagram, um, and it's Mich Michelle McCarthy CC. I feel so official saying that. Why? Oh, look, I'm that because there I you are. Look, your name's in lights there. Look at that. Yay. Michelle McCarthy <laughs> CC. No matter where you are tuning in from. <laughs> so let's oh let me just I'm getting a bit carried away just going to put some straight tape pen just around the edges just to make sure that it stays stuck and then 
we will put that on. Getting very busy on these. They did sell out when we launched them. They are a back in stock. Now, not only have we bought them back as a back in stock, we've also uh, given you a great discount on them as well. 19.98 you save in the UK. 25.90 if you're in the US. Of course, you'll save what uh, an extra 12 pounds as a platinum member, uh, an extra 15 pounds 40 as a platinum member, 15 dollars 40 as a platinum member in the US as well. So definitely a great time to snap these up. You can, if you want to, pick and choose. They're all available individually. Any two of them, 17 pounds or 22 dollars if you'd prefer to get them that way but a lot of you went for them in the earlier wake up call lots of you popping them into your basket at the moment as well yeah these are that's such a steal because these are just such a usable die um, and and again because it's not too big you can put it into cards it can be the main um, it can be the main focus of your card you can use it um, just as a topper these look beautifully on dome front cards, nice. dome fronted cards. So let's just. I think the way that they are put together as well, they've definitely been designed and grouped in a way that you could add a couple to a card. So like, I don't know, maybe um, the the roses and the butterflies, for instance, would play nicely together. Absolutely. I think the tree and the fairy would work well mm. together. You'd definitely be able to pair these up if you wanted to use multiples on one card. Oh, you could absolutely. You could, act, you know, you could put them on um, triptych style. Yes. So. Or maybe make a little star book with them. Be quite nice. Oh, absolutely. That. Yes. And then, you know, again, I've I've backed mine with um, a bit of. Oh, let me just stick that down. A bit of coloured paper. But mm. you could back yours with vellum, acetate. You could make them into um, shaker cards. Um, the, the possibilities are endless. So. They really, really are. Joe would make a gorgeous elf, says Hannah Hicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let Ariel as an elf. There you go. Have you? Are you ready? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Oh. Can you get mischievous? Can elves be mischievous? I think they can, can't they? Yeah, oh, elf on a shelf is, is quite mischievous. I wonder if we'll be seeing elf, elf, because we had elf on a shelf here last year. Hopefully, elf on a shelf will make a return uh, again uh, this <laughs> year. John on a shelf. John on a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Could you imagine selling John's on a shelf? John's on a shelf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, my just it's getting bear quite with rowdy me. this show, isn't it? it For really twenty-three is. minutes in, it's getting quite rowdy. It really is. So, my um, my little unicorn. Just bear with me. He isn't wanting to stick, oh. and the reason he isn't wanting to stick is because I've inked it up, and it's um, it's just having a little bit more trouble. Is my tape pen, my dotty tape pen, especially just stick into the inked um, card. It's almost like I've made it um, a little bit coated, so it's just okay. struggling to stick. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of wet glue, just to get this to stick a little bit better. So I'll just put that under there. Everyone's uh, very amused by Elf Joe. <laughs> well done, Adam. Um, Anne would love a salted caramel ice cream. She's with me. Uh, yes, oh. absolutely delicious. Um, no. Katie's not sure what she enjoys more, the crafting, uh, the giggling, or the food talk. Well, there's plenty of all of it. <laughs> you're in the right, if they're the things you want, uh, if they're the things you're after, then you're in the right place at Crafters TV. You are in safe hands. Yeah. Linda says, I want a John on the shelf. <laughs> I told you, we'd make a fart tune. Put him everywhere. <laughs> John on the John. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right. So again, so this for this little piece, I've done. I've just inked the back up exactly the same, and then I've just die cut. Thank you, sentiment. And I'm just going to put that on there, and that is just from the. 
the backing let's just pop that piece out there we go so just a lovely thank you card and let's where should we put that oh i tell you we'll put that on some foam pads so i do love my foam pads i just love the effect it gives you so I'm getting quite handy, quite quick at taking those off You now. are, aren't you? Yeah. Very fast foam pad finger. Um, <laughs> Hannah Hicks is totally, total mischievous, uh, elves can be. Uh, Hannah Hicks wants to join on a shelf as well. Uh, Kathy says I make an adorable elf. Thank you very much, Kathy. You do? Absolutely. You have to be quite handy, though, to be an elf, don't you? You have to be like to like, make things and kind of fix toys things. And toys and yeah. all sorts of things. I don't think I'd be very good. I don't think I'd get much done. Probably get the sack if I was an elf. <laughs> yeah, I think you would. <laughs> yeah. I'd get, yes, Adam, I would get Santa's sack. There you go. It's in the sack. <laughs> so, I have lost my bow. But, um, oh no, I could, no, 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 no. <laughs> I could actually bring in so uh, opulent baubles that we've got on. One of those makes the little mm. bow. So, I could bring one of those in and pop that on the top. But, um, so that's my double Z fold card. With awesome. That sort of with that wonderful, that wonderful inky sunset there in the background. Let me run you back through then the designs that you are going to receive in here. You're going to get that cat there uh, amongst the bushes. Uh, you've got the dog there as well, peering up at the tree. Those gorgeous schmetterlings there, the rose. Uh, you will get the unicorn as well, as you can see just there. Uh, and again, put, cut these into your um, cut them into card slot. Also, cut them out and use them as a topper. They work really well like that as well. You've got the fairy there, the tree, which you saw Andrew demonstrate this morning, and you also have. Uh, the stag there as well which is fantastic also think about with these you can actually create almost like a tunnel with these you could have layer one with this then you could remove the stags and then actually layer them up and actually create a bit of a 3d dimensional scene if you wanted to 59.94 77.70 gets you all of them uh, which is amazing saving you almost 20 pounds over 25 dollars which is fantastic uh, john on the john is the new foam on a roll uh, apparently uh, Debbie sings, Jez, sing it, Joe. Elf on a shelf, elf on a shelf, elf on a shelf, elf on a shelf. Yay. Oh, like foam on a roll. There you go. Maybe that could be our new, our new, uh, our new song. Right. We have a hero tool in every single one of our Creative Craving show. And this is no different. You have got five of our amazing uh, scoring boards uh, available for you. So this one just here is your uh, score master as you can see then you've got the enveloper pro there as well which is fantastic you've also got the boxer board within here as well which is that one just there uh, the top score as well which is this one uh, just here that's your top score that's coming in there and then you're also going to get the enveloper box creator as well so you really are um you've got all bases covered there really when it comes to uh, the scoreboards that you should need 14 pounds or four uh, sorry 14 pounds 14 dollars almost you're saving when you go for those 44 pounds where, wherever you're shopping if you are a club inspire platinum member now something else i will need to tell you about are these are our christmas 3d and pump uh, christmas and pump uh, Christmas 3D and pumpkin die set collection with 21 elements. In my head, it should be Christmas and pumpkin 3D die set. I mean, I'm not one to split hairs, but you know. Um, uh, um, what you've got in here, moink, moink, is uh, your uh, fabulous pumpkin. Michelle always likes to give her pumpkin a squish. I'm not sure why. So I now have started doing moink, moink the same whenever I uh, show you these. Uh, you've got two different sorts of uh, baubles uh, within here as well. This being one of them, absolutely beautiful. And you'll get the star in there as well, which is fantastic. Uh, I, I won't show you the boards because they're a bit boring. Um, <laughs> 3897 4407 uh, if you want to go uh, for those ones um sandy says michelle do you recommend flipping the magnetic sheet in the sandwich in your gemini the magnetic mm. um i don't flip my sheet um no. my magnetic one it's not one that um bends our bows but i do flip my plastic shim so right I flip my outside ones and my plastic shim because i find that it's my plastic shim 
that um, tends to make my outside plates bow more. Oh, okay. So if I'm replacing anything more often, it's my plastic shim because I find it gives um, my outside plates more longevity. Long is it longevity? Longevity. Yeah. 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 Do you flip yours, uh, Andrew? I do, but I think also it's if you've got like the larger, the smaller dies, mm. that's when it kind of bows uh, a okay. lot quicker. But um, I do use a, um, larger dies, so the top plates take long can last a little bit longer. Right, okay. But, um, yeah. You should always change them anyway, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Excellent. Top tips there from both our guests. Val says, Michelle, I think you must be channeling Craig with that foam pad technique. I think she must be. I think uh, it's because we're missing him. We are missing, him. missing we him. We are he's indeed. Him. Uh, he's on the mend. I believe he'll be at home this weekend, which will be lovely. So, uh, yes, it'll be great. I'll go around there for a chin wag and a cup of tea. I can show him pictures of everyone's Christmas trees and he can give me very, very brutal, very brutal and honest uh, feedback <laughs> as to what he thinks of everyone's trees, uh, no doubt. Right, uh, he was with us this morning. He is back again now. He's back in the building. Uh, Andrew's back with us. Uh, did you enjoy the uh, wake up call this morning, Andrew? I did, Joe, yes. Um, seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah, it, was now, but it was only a couple of hours ago. But yeah, it's been a very, it, was, it was about it's been four. A, a long and. Uh, yeah, it was, does feel like it could have been about four days ago uh, <laughs> now. But you're back with us for another fantastic demonstration. We'll be having a look at these Christmas 3D and pumpkin die sets. So, which one are you going to show us? I will be uh, creating the uh, elegant star. Isn't it very elegant? The, very elegant. Um, the intricate. Uh, there's two dies. And also, I'll be using the. Uh, What's it called? Quality? No, not quality. Um, luxury. Well? Oh, luxury. Luxury. Yeah. Luxury cardstock. The um, the matte gold. Beautiful. So, um, just before I start, I might sound a little bit strict, but uh, with um, this, it's all about preparation, preparation, preparation. Wow. And fold, okay. fold, fold. You'll see what I mean once uh, I get into the uh, into the demo. So, um, also uh, in the pack, you do get some instructions. So, if I were you, I would uh, make sure that you do read the instructions first because they will help you. They Are help you to, like me, me, Andrew, that person that never reads the instructions first and <laughs> then gets it wrong and then goes back and reads the instructions and does it properly? Yeah, is it? Yeah, I'm that kind of person. Is that obvious that I actually <laughs> had to read the instructions? <laughs> anyway, right. So, I'll um, get away with uh, putting the die down. And uh, the other one, just to make Nice sure. sizes as well, aren't they? You could use them for lots yeah, of things. Yeah, some a really good size. And uh, just make, uh, take a little bit of time just to get them centred. So you don't, want them, you don't want a wonky star. No one wants a wonky star. Nobody wants a wonky star. Absolutely not. But I'm thinking actually nice, it might be nice on the top of the tree. I was on the top of my tree was naked last year. Jan made me a teepee card to go on it at the very last minute. Oh, did oh, she? Maybe I could pop one of these on top this year. Perfect. Yes, I am oh, having a disco works. ball. Are you really? On yeah. top of the tree? Love well, I'm going to suspend it above the tree, okay. I think. Yeah, that's the plan. I might have room for a star on the top. It was a nice, petite, elegant star, such as this one. <laughs> so, um, with the, uh, with the, I've had add, added the, mag, uh, the metal shim, just for, because the inner die is quite intricate, so uh, just to make sure that it does cut all the way through. So, I've added the uh, metal shim. Is there a rule of thumb of when you do add that and when you don't add it? I know some people never do it, do they? Never put it in first time. Um, I've kind of got into a habit when, just to do it, just kind of like, you don't really want to do it again, so uh, mm. I can just do it just to make sure, really. So uh, there we go. And as you can see, it's cut out perfectly. So just turn it over. And I'll just uh, slowly take off the low tack tape. Uh, Audrey says, bring Andrew back and have him colour with pencils or watercolour markers. Wow. There we are. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. You were saying in the earlier show, weren't you, that you like a bit of watercolour, Andrew? I so do, yeah. Watercolour, uh, Spectrum Noir pens. I do also... I've fallen out. I can't oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Disconnected in the outside world. <laughs> he took that out on purpose. There They're we, just I waffling. Do purpose. <laughs> They're just waffling nonsense anyway, to be honest, Andrew. There we go. It's falling out again. There we go. <laughs> I'm just going to have to roll with it for a second. I do apologise. So, um, bear with me for a second. Just need to uh, get this all out. I love that brush. I, I love, love it. it. I love it. I love using it. It's just fun. Yeah. It is. It's kind of therapeutic as well. Just sit there. You can cut a load out and then just spend a bit of time. You can watch TV just yeah. squiggling it all out. I guess you could keep those bits that come out of here. They're quite decorative, aren't they? 
Yeah. I mean, if you was really into your paper piecing... Oh, gosh. Um, ..you could definitely paper piece those back in. But I think if you were going to do that, maybe you'd want to run it through again on maybe our adhesive sheets, so right. our double-sided A4 ones. And then okay. you know that they're in exactly the same place and it's a little bit like a jigsaw then, um, yep. getting your tiny little bits into cool. um, your star. But, yeah... That the, was, um... the Andrew fan club is gathering, Andrew. Oh, really? <laughs> Daisy Allen says, just joined, sorry I'm late. And how is this handsome chap that we have crafting <laughs> here? I say, my, oh, my. My heart is having flutters. There you are, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly a hit with Stacey Allen on YouTube. Oh. Uh, Anne Lambert says, hello, Andrew. Watched you this morning. That gold star would make lovely hanging window decorations. Wouldn't it, just? So, um, once uh, you've cut it all out, you need to, um, as I said before, just to... Uh, burnish all of um, the fold marks so if you take the time to do all of this it will help you when you start to fold and um, I am making a bit of a pig's ear of this but it does work there we go there we go. it's definitely something that I always do I always go back home I mean yeah I know the scar lines are in there anyway but um, when you've got that intricate um, cut out element in there it always it is worth going back over just so when you fold in your score lines you don't damage your intricate um, little bits that are in there so it's definitely something I always do so yeah and I think it just makes it makes sense isn't it taking the yeah, type part the time at this it, part yeah. any questions you've got for Andrew get them into me Crafters TV on Facebook Crafts Companion over on YouTube uh, Andrew joined us as a part of the craft factor and now he's back by popular demand he is. You guys demanded we bring back, and that we have done. We have. Oh, thank you very much. So I'm just <laughs> uh, folding, uh, well, scoring all of the burnish board this. And uh, so, um, as you can see, um, there are fold lines just going just towards the edge. So you just need to, just to follow the lines, and uh, all should be well. So there we go. Hannah Hicks says, John may have competition. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am sorry, Andrew. It's okay, Joe. I'll let you <laughs> off. Like, and I'm just concentrating because sc scoring these lines are very, very It's a, li it's a little important. bit like going into a colour co uh, colouring coma when you're scarring yeah, all you your lines. you just kind of forget the that concentration. you're supposed to be talking and you just want to go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And then also, so once you've um, done the start, you need to just to uh, do, there are fold lines for the tabs. So there we go, perfect. There we go, and uh, it's a really nice uh, five-sided star, which is uh, my favorite type of star, because you can get quite a few different types of stars. It is a very elegant star, isn't it, this one? Yeah. It really is, and I love that color. And also, I think um, I really do like um, the gold in the matte mirror. I think it's, actually, I like all the matte mirrors in all of the luxury yeah, Card it's stock. very classy, it, isn't it? Yeah, and it comp complements the bright, like the really, God, sorry, of the. Um, oh, just missed one out. So I'll just do that one there. So, do you find when you're using the mirror card that you you sort of going <sighs> and polishing it up where you've got a fingerprint on it? Oh, definitely. <laughs> um, I have actually me? done a demo with the um, with the um, outer star and um, it's got quite a few fingerprints. I have tried to breath it up, but you'll see what I mean <laughs> uh, in a few moments when I show you the demo. Right, so there we go. So um, I've done another one like this, and uh, now we're going to do the folding. So you need to turn the star over, and you need to do the, the midpoints, so pretty much all of these, which you can see. And you need to fold, just fold them in half, really. There we go. So, as I said, like, uh, beginning, make preparation with this is key. So that's pretty much getting all the folds done, of well, the scoring and burnishing, and it'll make your life. A I mean, a lot of people lot have easy. multiple trees, don't they, at home uh, for Christmas? So mm -hmm. maybe yeah. you could have a, a you know a smaller tree and just have it completely decorated in all of these this Christmas. Have all these that beautiful gold stars on there. It would look very, very classy. Yeah. Yeah. We found out Michelle has a second tree earlier of uh, <laughs> the things that her children make, so she doesn't have to put them on a real tree. Um, do you think having three trees is uh, a bit too Do much? you have three trees? Wow. Well, where are these trees? 
Sorry. Whereabouts are they in the uh, house? They um, have um, uh, one in the red and gold is in uh, the living room, and then I have one in the kitchen, which is blue and white, and then in our garden room, green and gold. Wow, so three trees. I'm very greedy. I don't know what I'm more impressed with. The three trees are the garden room. Yeah. Garden room. I'm just, I'm, I'm just posh. It's the conservatory. <laughs> 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 it's the worst. There we go. Right. So um, once, uh, so I've just folded uh, the tabs, and I would strongly suggest that you do burnish these all the way, because uh, it, when you construct it, it will make uh, your life e a lot easier. And uh, it's all about making your life easier. And uh, when you put these together, do you have to put them together so they totally close? Is there an option to sort of leave them open, Andrew? Or do you need to completely seal them when you make them? Sorry, I totally missed that. I was That's all right. Right. I was <laughs> right. Mich <laughs> Michelle, I mean, if you've seen Debbie Fisher, she never listens to anything I say, so don't worry. No, don't worry about it. Uh, if, with these, when you make them up and seal them, if you're putting something inside them, could you leave them so that you could reopen them, or do you have to completely seal them when you make uh, them? What's you have best? Um, completely seal them. Completely seal them. Yeah. Um, yeah, you suddenly you can't put anything in them. It's quite nice to fill them with um, little, tr little treats, but um, sadly I know. you can't. So to... Um, I find the best thing to do is to use red liner tape. So, um, I'm just going to, which I've done one earlier, so I'm just going to put the last piece on, and I've used the really thin one. So, I won't like, it can be, well, for me, it's a little bit fiddly. I wouldn't say fiddly, but you just need to take your time. So, just uh, Now, we did a craft along recently, and I uh, tried to use red liner tape, and I say tried to use it, Andrew, <laughs> Because my, oh my, you know you are talking about tape pens earlier and how they yeah. can sometimes be your nemesis. <laughs> yeah. Mine is without a doubt red liner tape. I just cannot use it. Was it with you, Michelle, I did that? Uh, no. Was it not? No. It didn't end well. <laughs> did you have a good fight with it? Right, good battle, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get the red bit off, that was a problem. Yeah, it can be a bit tricky. Mm. So, um, with uh, constructing uh, the star, I did find, I found a knack that um, pretty much is to use um, the dotty tape and just to, where you've got the kind of way you hang the bauble, just to put a bit of um, the dotty tape. There we go. And there we go. So um, I cut out another one earlier, so you also do need two, two of the stars to create your elegant star. And just take a bit of time just to make sure that the two holes measure up and it will make uh, your life a lot easier to um, construct the star. So, once I've done that, so this will probably take the red line, the tape off. There we go. Oh, there we go. This is going to take a while. No, it's not. There we go. Right. Adriana's had a wonderful idea. If you could do these with recycled aluminium cans. Ooh. Do you know what? That's not a bad shout, is it? It's not. It's definitely not. Um, um, see, our, our Gemini will definitely cut through um, the, the Coke can. I would imagine that mm. you would want your metal shim underneath if you was going to try and cut something as intricate as that. Yeah, I mean, definitely I'd imagine the outer shape, so the, the, the outer yes, design the would work outer well, wouldn't it? Sure. Whether the intricate part would cut, um, I guess, would be remain to be seen. I don't think it would. No. Uh, no. Because um, on the uh, instructions they do, it is recommended... Oh, you read them? I did read it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a maximum of 230 GSM, but um, I think the um, luxury cardstock is a little bit more. Mm. Um, it does work, obviously, but um, I would say the glitter card, I did try it with a glitter card. It'll cut it out, right? but it won't cut out the intricate. Okay. So you could actually make um, glitter stars with the outer, mm. um, a bit like I did with the mirror cards, but yeah. sadly it just won't cut. So I've tried it, but it might have been my machine because my machine is... Well, and it's very well used, so... Well loved. It, it is definitely well loved. Uh, Pam E has made several of these and has put, uh, put some uh, battery-operated little LED lights on the inside of them. Oh, Lovely idea. Like a really good idea. Yeah, that's... Uh, mm. 
Yeah. They're so yeah. light now, aren't they? Some of those little packs of uh, yes. LED lights. Yeah, you can get some really good, like, proper small ones and etc. So. so it does take a bit of time to uh, take. And I, I think red liner tape is the best adhesive for this because I think, well, with glue, you'd be sliding uh, all over the place. Stacey Allen suggests maybe putting a bit of tinsel inside them. What's your thoughts on tinsel, Andrew? I know it's love, very divisive. I love tinsel. Do you? I love Good man. tinsel. Yep. Yeah. So obviously with three trees, I have a lot of tinsel in my uh, decoration box. We have a, I, um, it used to take just one day just to decorate the house. Now it's a Christmas weekend of decoration. Christmas <laughs> weekend, love it. So uh, yeah, it's usually the first weekend in December. So on a Saturday, all the trees come down. We usually do the first two rooms. And then in the afternoon, just watch a Christmas movie. And then it is, da, 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 sorry about this. Um, and then on the Sunday, it is more, de de uh, more decorating oh, the weekend. garden room. And then in the afternoon, more Christmas films and Christmas treats. I think Andrew might live in a castle, you know. I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think we need a party at Andrew's house, that sounds a bit. As long as you take your shoes off. Right, okay. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> so I go. watched Elf for, for the first time last week. Oh. Elf? Elf. Wow. I've never, I've, that's one film I've never seen. You've never seen it? Oh, Andrew, you've got to treat yourself. It. This oh, year, Christmas God. weekend when you're decorating the castle, pop Elf on. I think yes. it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> it's you. Decorating the castle. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. that tickled me. <laughs> Yeah, it's usually um, Christmas music while we decorate, and then in the afternoon, you, it's usually either um, Scrooge, the right. musical, or um, It's a Wonderful Life. Amazing. Which and do you have a favourite Christmas song, I guess, is the burning question? Uh, Fairy Tale of New York. Wow, nice. Very classic it. one. Yeah. Yeah, I love that song. And what's, the name, of, and what's the name of that um, Paul McCartney song? Um, oh. Oh. I can't remember the song, but it's my least favourite. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who's watched, someone who's watched. Wonderful Mortalia. Christmas time. Yes, yeah, wonderful Christmas time. There you are. There we go. Oh. Right. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not too keen on the, the Slade song. Oh, um, really? No, I, I totally agree. I, I prefer Wizard. Wizard? Yeah. Yeah. If it was Christmas every day, imagine how much weight we'd put on. <laughs> Gosh, Have you definitely. seen that, that bloke who does celebrate Christmas every day? Watches yes. the Queen's speech every day. And um, um, I read, I think it was on the BBC website, that um, a lady who eats a turkey Christmas dinner every day wow. has actually lost weight. weight. Wow. Wow. So I'm not sure. I did actually read the actual article, just the headline, and I thought, how... Is, is really it a Christmas true? dinner in a can, though, or something like that? You know, just one little tin <laughs> of Christmas dinner. You can so buy get, a Christmas dinner in a can. Can you get turkey every single day? Is it going to be I frozen? You, I reckon you can get it all year round, you know? Just very be very, very expensive, expensive I'd imagine. Uh, Katie Easley says, can I be ignorant and ask what a garden room is, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's um, a garden room is just a posh word for conservatory. Yeah. I'm just a bit posh. I'm not sure if they, I'm not sure if that is, I'm not sure if that's the room, what, what would they, I'm not sure if a conservatory is a word in the US. No, um, so um, a, conserv a garden room is kind of like um, an extra room on the end of the house with lots of windows and glass and um, if you'd heard my interview earlier on, um, I, I had that drama about measuring curtains. Oh, that was the garden ah. room. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> there you go. It's a there small, go. small, mostly glass room on the back of the house essentially. Yes, basically. <laughs> It's where Jan crafts. Jan's craft room is in her garden room. Not in Andrew's <laughs> garden room, no, gosh. <laughs> it's called a sunroom in the US, Andrew. A sunroom. A sun, it's a sun, a sun room. Yes, a sun. Uh, I have a sunroom. You have a sunroom? <laughs> I prefer garden room, if I'm being honest. Right, so as you can see, I've uh, made the star. And uh, as you can see, it's that's all come it together like. beautifully. And really all you need are. to do is just to uh, pop a bit of gold thread, which won't go through. There we go. And there we go. What I did there. Beautiful. Perfect. And Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. So um, I've done some other, other demos. Now, this is, uh, as I was talking earlier about the outer side of the star, 
um, which are cut out. So basically, that's more of a flatter um, design because it's just basically the two sides. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of scratches, um, but that's just my machine because it's been well used. And mm. to kind of counter out that, I would suggest to put a piece of copier paper first yeah. and then the dyes, and mm. then that will hopefully reduce the, Stop the marking. Indent indentations. Yeah. And Pop also it. I did have gluey fingers at the, time, at the same time as well. So uh, wash your hands before you do anything <laughs> shiny. Wash your hands. Or <laughs> get some wipes and buffer it up afterwards. So there we go. Um, so, and also tried um, obviously various papers and weights. And um, this bright red is- That's uh, gorgeous. 150 GSM, so that's quite a thin card. So um, that would be pretty much the lowest I would go to. And then um, another red. And that's kind of run about the 200 mark, GSM mark, to uh, Really to nice. Yeah. I think so, yeah. the great thing about this is you've got a really strong colour theme for your Christmas design. You want to make your own stars for the tree. Absolutely. These will let you do that. Uh, are you, will you be hanging these on any of the Christmas trees at home this year? Oh, definitely. Um, I suspect, um, the, obviously, the red and gold will be going on the red and gold tree. And then, obviously, you can get the green um, luxury cards pack. I'll be making some green ones to go Fabulous. with the gold ones. Uh, so, you've yeah. been nicknamed Posh Andrew in the comments. <laughs> Posh Andrew. That is forever now your name. Uh, I'll Katie Easley Easy says, oh, thanks for that, Posh Andrew. I know what a conservatory is, so now I'm on board. <laughs> yeah, you've got a garden room. <laughs> or a garden room, or a sun room. Andrew, can I say, an absolute pleasure to have you in the studio. Thank you As much. always, fantastic demonstration, and always uh, lots and lots of fun. Um, Catherine Bo I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if She's having a laugh and she says, we turned our castle's dungeon into a craft room, is what she says. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what is going on. If you want to get your hands on these dies, uh, then you absolutely can. It's very busy right now at the moment. Uh, there's uh, a star and two different types of bauble uh, as well in there. So you've got that pumpkin, uh, which is this one here, boink, boink. Uh, you've also got the star there that you've just seen Andrew create. Uh, which is brilliant uh, and then you've actually got two different styles of baubles within there as well so you've got your grande bauble and your winter bauble uh, and this is the kind of style that they will make for you which is amazing 38.97 44.07 uh, is your price there on those now uh andrew first joined us uh, on the craft factor and you can join the craft factor every friday in wake up call we'll have another one coming up tomorrow actually which will be fun uh you all you need to do is abigail joining us tomorrow all you need to do is send us uh, a little video having a bit of a chat about yourself some pictures that you make send that to uh, studio craftscompanion.co.uk i believe that is the correct address there on the bottom of your screen and uh, maybe we'll get you into the studio the lovely brent uh, will give you a call right we're just going to take a moment to reset uh, and we're back in a moment on the other side of this Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Achieve crisp, precise, and perfect die cutting results every time with the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim. The idea behind the plastic shim is that it creates a thicker plate combination, offering an even more precise die cutting result with each pass. Simply pop a plastic shim between your cutting plates and then roll through your Gemini die cutting machine and voila, an amazing precise cut every time. Plastic shims work really well with detailed or thin metal dies. So if intricate cutting is your thing, then the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim is your best friend. 
They're plastic shims sized to work with a whole range of Gemini machines. And for just $14.95 or £9.99, the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim can be yours today. Uh, loads of love coming in for Andrew. Hannah says, Andrew, love Andrew. He's great. Evelyn loves all the tips and the tricks. Uh, Lorraine says, welcome back. Lovely to see you. Sharon says, thanks, Andrew. I love watching you, seeing your mates. And you are so funny. Great job. Uh, Katie Easley uh, says, I love posh Andrew's laugh. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> uh, Joe, I love the bonk, bonk sound effects for the pumpkin. It wasn't a bonk, bonk. It was a boink, boink. Very, very different to a bonk, bonk. Uh, when is Andrew back again? I don't know. Soon, I hope, Andrew. Yeah, I think it's um, very soon. Very, very soon. soon. Yep. Very, very soon indeed. Uh, right, we are going to move on. And we're going to look at the interchangeable stamps and stencils. I'm going to take you through the, what you are getting here in this particular collection. So uh, in here, you will receive the um, violet roses, which are these ones just here. Uh, you've also got your wild meadow, classy florals, there's the Yuletide foliage and also the Holly and Poinsettia. Love the fact that you've got a couple of festive ones in here and then a couple of everyday ones, which is awesome. So you're getting a really good mix of the two in there. And also, Michelle, with these, I guess you can make any of them really festive or spring or autumn or summer because you're in charge of the colours you're using. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, so just changing your colours for any colour scheme of any wedding, birthday, parties, anything like that, just change your colour scheme and it will match anything. So we're going to use um, the violet roses for this, um, for this card. So when you take your stamp style, let me put it on there so you can see it better, you can see that you've got lots of lovely sentiments in there and then you've got three stamps. So these are your different layers. So this is, so we've got let me find number one. So one, two, and three. So as we, we um, stamp in with those, they, we will um, layer them up. So I'm going to use my quick dry inks for this, but you can use your opaque inks for this and then um, heat emboss afterwards. So I've just brought in, so I've got um, my quick dry, so I've got crushed velvet, green topaz, pink tulip and baby blue. So when you're lining these up, you will see, so let's take number one off. You will see here, let me lay that down see if you can see that better. So you've got a square piece there and that is where you will um, line it up, find, a, find either a place on your um, stamping mat to line that up in and then remember because then you can um, put the others in exactly the same place so just make sure that my paper's in the right place so on in here as well we do also have the little stencil awesome. but we'll come back to that later I forgot to show you that which is why I got you it out then so we're just going to layer up our colours so I think I am going to go in with my, so that is mainly my roses on there. So I'm going to use pink tulip. I mean, you have a play about with the colours, see which, you know, which you like, which ones you want to lay down, which in which order. Um, you might find you want to go in dark first and then lighter over or the other way around. Entirely up to you. Have a little play. Kate Easley loves your little bow bangle. Oh, thank you very much. Um, that was actually a present from my eldest for... Was it? Yeah. Very nice. For one of my birthdays. He too is very good at, uh, at listening to me when I, you know, I show, it, show him something that I like. Yeah. Or he's just really good at saying, Dad, what does Mum want for a birthday? Right, there you go. I think, yeah, I think that's more... <laughs> more it but thank you very much so that's my pink tulip so I'm just going to give that a Y and then swap to number two so trying to stay tidy um, so then bring them back in and so this one is number two 
So there's a couple of ways you can layer this back up. So remember this square bit that I showed you about? So put it back on in the same place. So try and remember where you placed it before. And then it should layer up perfectly. So before you ink it and stamp it down, just check that you've got it in the right place. Let me just get rid of that there. And when you have, then we can go in and stamp it. So I think we'll go in with our crushed velvet. So look at that. I do love this colour. So beautiful and deep. So let's just go in, press that down. I bet these would work really well as well with something a bit more abstract, Michelle. Something like maybe our Midas metallic ink pads or something like that. On some black card top, you know, make something a bit oh, more wacky absolutely. and out there. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I mean, all our ink pads for these, but those metallic ones on black, absolutely um, beautiful, definitely. Um, Kathy says she doesn't care if it's a, a boink or a bonk. She loves the sound effect all the same. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. So, just getting another wipe out. Right, let's remove that. So that's number two. So, and then finally, we're going to go in with number three. Just bear with me. Just going to dry, dry that. So again, get your square piece. Remember where you placed it before and gently place it down. And then this time we're going to go in with our green topaz. And these quick dry inks are so juicy. Lots of uh, lovely colour in there. So again, before I, I mean, I did ink it up, but before I press that down, I am having a quick look to make sure that that's exactly where I want it. And it is, so I'm going to press down. The stamping platform and uh, magnetic base obviously invaluable for a job like this, invaluable. aren't they? I mean, invaluable. I guess you wouldn't even bother attempting it without it. I wouldn't, absolutely not. Um, you could, you could sort of um, by eye line them up. But um, as crafters, we want to make our, the bits that, well, this is fun, you know, this stamping is so much fun now with this platform, but we want to get the, the bits out of the way so we can get on with the fun bit of, of being creative. So why wouldn't you have the stamping mat that makes your job so much mm. easier? Um, I do believe it is in stock over on the website. I'm not sure it's on the show, Johnny, is it? But it is in stock over on the website. Pop over to the website on the home page in the main search bar, just put stamping platform in, and you'll see all the different options come up for you there. So, just going to dry that off. And as you can see, that is stamped up beautifully. I think I might be upside down with it though, but it doesn't, I don't think it really matters either way. And you can see it's left that lovely shadow in the middle, which is where you would come in with. So, that, um, yeah, so you would come in with your stencil you would figure out which side is upside down and which isn't. <laughs> Let's just turn that around a minute. And then you would, there you go, look. Just, just there. So you would go, you could stencil um, an ink in the middle or you would go in with one of your little sentiments. It looks like a gorgeous little sort of hand-tied bouquet almost, isn't it? It does, it does. So I'm gonna bring this in. Just gonna get um, a dauber, there they are. Why well, I've made a mess everywhere. These daubers are also back in stock, I do believe, over on the website. Uh, yes. They are. They've they been are. out of stock forever. So if you've been waiting for the finger daubers to come back in, now is your chance. They Absolutely. are available over on the website as well. So do go and grab them if you've been waiting for them. So I'm just going to line that up where I want it to go. So roughly about, you can sort of see that curve follows the curve of those. And I'm just going to with a little bit of, so I brought the baby blue in and I'm just going to really lightly tap through my stencil so it just sort of frames and enhances where I'm going to stamp my um, sentiment. So this is baby blue I'm using and I'm just tapping gently because I don't want to go underneath um, the stencil, I don't want it to bleed out. 
So when you're happy with that, just remove it and you can see there that my little banner. So then I'm going to try and stay tidy. Uh, so I'm going to bring in one of my sentiments. So one of my little ones, I think. So let me turn that back round because I want it to go on that way. So I'm going to place it there. I'm going to put my uh, top back on and then I'm going to pick it up with the top of my platform and then I know it's in exactly the place that I want it to be. So I'm just coming in with a black ink pad now. I'm going to ink that up and stamp it down. So again, um, I wouldn't be doing this as precisely and perfectly as I can without this um, stamping platform. So I'm just going to move that to the side. But I think, I've, I, I think I say it every time I use this. For me, uh, it was a game changer. I was definitely not a stamper, definitely shied away from it. I would never have bought these before this because I just wasn't that confident. I mean, you know, some of you are brilliant at it and that's, but I wasn't, so I got this and I just love stamping now. And I think that's, as crafters, that's what we want. Something that makes us think, oh, I love doing that. So. Yeah, and I guess it's about having the right tool for the job, the right tool for the right job, isn't it, a lot of the time. Absolutely. So if it's something you have shied away from, give it a try, get it home, try it. Because I reckon if you are, maybe you are someone that's stamping, but not having uh, the best of success, probably got lots of stamp put, stamps put away that you aren't using properly at the moment. So, you know, grab this, grab that plan platform, get them all out and make the most of them. Definitely. So I've brought this one in because I've already um, cut it down. Happy birthday to you, lots of love. Nice. So I've cut it down into a four and two eighths, or four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So what I'm gonna, so I've put that onto some of our textured cards. I'm just gonna move that to the side because we're gonna make a double gatefold card to really um, show that stamp off. So just going to bring in, so I've got some of this beautiful pearlescent card and this is from the, um, the card, the actual 12 by 12 card pads that came with our USB um, on the, that we released uh, not so long ago. So it came with like the rainbow, yeah, uh, the retro rainbow and the, the, the paisley I think, something along them lines. So I've just cut, um, I've got my 12 by 12 uh, piece of paper. I've cut it in half so it's six inches um, high and I've scarred it three and six and the same with the other piece. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna glue those together and then that gives me my beautiful um, double gate folds. So let's just glue those together. In fact, I'm just gonna use, cause it's a coated card, I'm gonna go in with my tacky. Make sure it's got a nice, um, good bond on there. The name's Bond, permanent bond. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like I set you up for that one. <laughs> it's almost like it, isn't it? Um, Katie Easy says, uh, oh, uh, sorry, uh, Journalin says they're gorgeous, these stamps. Uh, Pam E says these are on my wish list. Uh, Kendall agreeing they're gorgeous as well. Mariah saying that stamping platform is awesome, helps me ink so often when I understand. Uh, Katie Easley says that stamping platform, how did we ever live without it? Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, and Jane Wilson would be impossible to stamp without that platform. So many of you that already do have it, absolutely love it. If you haven't got it, maybe it's time to join the stamping platform revolution. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. So, what we're going to do is, so, I've got some black card, purple and some uh, beautiful patterns. And again, I'm going to just mat and layer these up. Um, because my stamp is so it's like four and a half by four and a half I want to make it the focal point of my card so I think by making a nice big card and then having that on prominent display in the middle makes it bigger and eleganter if that's a word then eleganter. I eleganter we should make it a word makes it, it stand out <laughs> so take pen and again I've um, so I'm going to triple matte and layer this so I've got my my black, my purple, and then some pattern, just to add that extra 
um, pop behind it to make it stand out a lot more. Oh, I'm, so I'm not sure which piece I, think I want to use now. That side or that side. Mm. I think I like that. Mm. Oh, do I like that one? You see, these double-sided pads, they do give you quite a conundrum. So if you I've get two, then it's almost like you've got a side of one and a side of the other. Well, that's it, yeah. <laughs> so you can use it all. In fact, you need three because you need one to keep and stroke and, and <laughs> sniff. And you know what I'm talking about, Definitely. Andrew. <laughs> so let's get this in the middle. So let's line that up. Right in the middle there. And I've just gone a little bit wonky, so that's going to annoy me. Let me just trim that a little bit. We don't, I can't have you annoyed, Michelle. No, absolutely not. So it's a little wonky at the top, but we'll pretend it's not. So again, um, I've just got a different shade of purple. And again, I'm going to triple layer because I want, um, I want, that stamp to be right at the focal point of this card because it's worthy of it. It deserves uh, it. It like does because they are beautiful stamps. So let's get this on there. And I could have um, I could have inked the edges of these with the same colours of. Uh, that I've used to stamp with, you can tie it in a little bit more or maybe a little bit of gilding wax around the edges or especially around the edges of the black, make that pop. Oh, that one's a bit sharp, bear with me. In fact, oh, I can't get it straight. There, in fact, I've got some gilding waxes under here, so if I bring this one in, so what have I got? Um, so we've got the gold one. <laughs> Where's the name gone? A King Gold. There was a deal on uh, last night's cartload show with those gold and wax. Yes. So you'll be able to go back and grab that. Uh, all cartload, uh, most of the cartload deals that we have available, had available still after the show yesterday, are still available now as well. So if you did miss last, if you're tuning in tonight thinking, hang on a minute. It's a Thursday, where's cartload gone? Uh, we had it last night uh, with Sarah. We had a three hour Sarah special cartload. So if you did miss it, some of the deals are still available. Pop yourself back over on the website and what is still available is still there. And the deals will be good for another sort of, I don't know, probably tomorrow morning, I think they'll probably go back up to full price. So uh, it is one of your last chances to go and have a look. So maybe after this show, pop yourself over there. So I've just put a little bit of this on my mat and I'm just edging, so I've just edged my two and I'm still wonky. I've just edged my two black pieces and then my topper as well. So let me just clean that up, get it off my fingers and let's straighten this back up. You can't have wonky. So there we go, that's better. So see if you just see on there where I've put the um, gilding wax just on the black, how it just makes it stand out that little bit more. So let's get these on here. And I do like a matte and layer and sometimes um, more mattes and layers do look really good. So just lining that up. I'll turn it round and line this one up and I also just love the smell of it the, <laughs> the gilding the smell wax of what? the gilding wax I think yeah. it smells lovely yeah it's, uh, it's, it does smell gorgeous doesn't it it really is so we've got our nice big card and this is going to go on foam pads so let's get this all layered up These are a definite must-have in your stash um, at a foam pad. I don't think you should have, like your core stash definitely needs mm. your glues, but definitely needs um, 
foam pads. So let's get that. In, do we want it? Oh, we want it a bit wonky. So let's put that there. And I do have just a couple of gems and a bow. Really complements it well, that paper pad. Off. Yes, it, it absolutely does. It, it complements it without taking over, I think. Because sometimes if you put in... Um, a floral paper behind something like this floral stamp and die it can be a little bit too much but I find this absolutely complements it beautifully so let me just get that one in there so that one's a little wonky let me just move it and then get that glue off my finger and then I've just got a, I just found this bow it was just under the desk here um, so I thought we'll put that on there. <laughs> Was that the one you lost earlier? It, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Oh, wow. So that double gatefold card yeah. with that beautiful um, interchangeable stamp uh, and sentiment on it. Absolutely beautiful. I uh, love that. And uh, you could be... Uh, making those yourself very easily. Let me take you through the different designs that you've got within here. Lovely that it's a mix of everyday and festive designs within here too. I mean, to be honest, you can make any of these um, sets any season because you're in charge of the colourways. That was the Violet Rose. This one here is the Wild Meadow. You've also got the Classy Florals. But then we also have the Yuletide Foliage. And this one is your Holly and Poinsettia. 51.96 or 5980 if you want to get your crafty paws on those. Lots of you loving that last make there from Michelle. Um, Jane says, uh, sorry, uh, Journal Lynn says, uh, this card is looking super, Michelle. Uh, the goodies make it look so professional. Michelle, this looks beautiful, says Joy. Uh, Kate saying, love how you use the gilding wax like that, Michelle. You also edged the box lid the other day with it, which I thought was amazing. And the lovely Susie says, gorgeous card, Michelle. I want to share with you a venom and acetate uh, collection. So in here, it's a buy two, get one free. So you get the heat resistant acetate, totally free of charge. Heat resistant, of course, because you can do all of your heat embossing techniques onto there, which is awesome. Uh, when you go for this, two gorgeous collections of acetates and vellum. So you've got your gnome collection. In here, you get the acetate in the snowflake and the snow, uh, the snowflake and the snow flurry, and then you get the vellum in exactly the same finish as well. Snowflake and snow flurry. Four designs in there. Uh, you get four, three of each. Uh, so twelve sheets in total in that one. Make sure as well with the vellums, it's got the little um, sort of protective bit on there. So make sure you take that off when you use it. Uh, then we've also got the A4. Now this is beautiful because this is foiled, which is very very classy let me share this one with you if I can get it out of the packet there we go uh, so what you've got here look snow flurries but foiled I know isn't it gorgeous uh, and again here with the snowflakes uh, you've actually got foil detail on this you can see it really plays with and picks up the light then we've got some snow uh, some snow flurries there but we've actually got some foiling in this one as well let me share this with you love this again how classy does that look uh, you know, in uh, the front detail of a box or something like that, it's going to look beautiful. And again, we've got the same here in uh, the gorgeous snowflakes. This looks amazing. So, so shiny. Uh, and then you've got the same again there uh, in the acetates. Uh, and you are again uh, getting, yes, 12 sheets of that one. So you're buying those two, you get the heat resistant acetate, totally free of charge. 1798 or 2290 uh, if you want to get your hands on those. Uh, we also have available for you, talking of all things shiny, uh, the amazing glitter markers. Let me just grab those for you. They are over here. Now, the glitter markers, um, they are essentially a water-based uh, glitter marker. This they'll come to you, uh, which is great. So they've got like a, kind of, a, they're not like a brush, um, like a paintbrush. You know how our, our sparkle pens are like a paintbrush? These are not like that. So these have got more of a sort of a felt nib on them, for want of a better word. Uh, but you can get really accurate lines and detailed uh, colouring. Uh, they are also brilliant for writing with it, which is fantastic. You can use them on top of embellishments, or of course you can do craft projects with them as well. So it's really, really awesome. Brilliant gifts, these as well. Let me take you through the colours that you get. You get all three of them uh, in this particular configuration. You're going to get the neon lights, which gives you neon yellow, neon violet, neon blue, neon pink, neon orange, and the neon green. The vibrant florals gives you golden glow, electric pink, ultraviolet, red fiery, supernova, and the yellow cosmos. 
and then you've got the moonlit silver uh, carbon jade aqua cool blue midnight frost and the frozen lake that is your cool elements that you've got there. but you can see can't you the way it catches the light there how it gives you that really lovely sparkle but what you've got then is a really lovely sort of opaque ink at the background which covers really well 28.50 or 40.50 uh, if you want to get your hands on those that comes down to 22.80 or 32.40 if you're a platinum member remember it is our week of wonders event and that means brand new launches every single day myself and debbie are back tomorrow with the new positive thoughts collection can't wait to bring that to you at 3 p.m. in the UK 10 a.m. on the East Coast you'll get a sneak peek of that though uh, earlier in the day uh, when it's wake up calling myself and Debbie midday in the UK 7 p.m. 7 a.m. even across on the East Coast uh, and then another launch for you in the evening color me happy our weekly destination coloring show will be here with myself and Debbie uh, and that will be concentrating on our metallic flip markers which myself and uh, the lovely Michelle had a little sort of sneaky peek out on Tuesday's launch party so uh, really another action-packed day for you tomorrow here on crafters TV right we are going to go back to the centerpieces. It's very, very busy uh, on these at the moment. Uh, six, uh, sorry, eight wonderful designs in here for you. They did sell out. They are a back in stock, which is awesome. Let me take you through them. So you've got the lovely one with the cat here. You've got the dog there looking up at the birdie in the tree. Uh, we've also got the schmedlings uh, in here, those gorgeous butterflies. You've got the floral one here with the roses. You've then got the unicorn, which is uh, that one just there. We've also got the fairy. You've got the tree there with the birds in, and you've got uh, the deer it's in there as well. Those wonderful stacks, 59. 94 77 70 if you want to get hold of those michelle i believe we're gonna have another look at these we are going to have another look at these and for this one we're going to use the entwined roses i just adore this one but again i probably will say that with everything um that i use so again when you take it out of the pad um you can see it hasn't got a full a full cut out all the way around so it literally enables you to cut it in um, to your card. So I've got a piece of card and we're just two and three quarters by six and a half. I'm just gonna bring, so for this one, this would definitely go through the mini because my piece of card that I'm gonna use is um, small enough and that fits in. So this one, um, if you was going to make this, would fit through perfectly. Just looking for my uh, tape, there it is. See, this is why I don't tidy up after myself because then I can't find anything. <laughs> it's just still all left out for me. I know where it is. So let's just take that down. Move that there. And again, the same plate combination um, as always. So two clear plastic, uh, two clear plates, plastic shim, and my metallic magnetic. <laughs> Um, shim. I do think we should rename it. Um, but then, what metallic. would we call the metal shim if we did that? The metal shim. But would that not get confusing? The metallic shim and the metal shim. Well, probably for everyone else. But, but not I for know you. where I was. <laughs> where we call the metal one the shiny shim? <laughs> there you go. So let's. Um, so as you can see, cuts through beautifully. So let's just gently ease this off. I'm just going to bring my pokey tool in just to gently tease that up and if you do find this is quite stuck down the best way to do it is just bring it straight back across itself and it eases off lovely so again let's just gently pull all this away find it easier to turn it over so i can see which bits i'm wanting out and we don't want to get any ripped bits there we go so just a few so detailed aren't they oh absolutely so just a few pieces that i do need to poke out get rid of that one and that one just poking these last few bits out so you could use again your um die brush and tool set for this but I, this one because i'm you sort of peeling big long pieces away i really enjoy doing that so this is definitely one that i'm going to be um weeding myself 
And I guess the thing is with this, not that it's not cut, is it? It's just it's so intricate, they sort of like yeah, interlock around each they other. They do, that's all it is. So I'm just, I'm just easing them out gently. Weeding it, is that what, we, is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> is that what you call it, Michelle? Weeding it, yeah. Weeding it out. So <laughs> not sure I've heard that before. Yeah, weeding. No, Andrew, have you heard that before? I haven't, sorry. Weeding. So I, I think it's. Andrew doesn't look after his own garden, you see. That's why he told us this <laughs> earlier. Someone else, <laughs> someone else sorts his garden out. <laughs> <laughs> so I think weeding is, <laughs> is more for. So, you know, the electronic um, machines. Um, I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention them or where you can cut your vinyl out. Yes. What you will do is you will peel that off and you yeah. weed your pieces out. So that's sort of where that comes from. Oh. It's very similar to what I'm doing here. Every day's a school day. Yeah. I occasionally do know something. <laughs> occasionally. So I'm just going to pull that last piece out very gently. And then it's just that tiny little bit in the middle. I could do with my, see, it's because I could do with my reading glasses on. Do you want to borrow my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've reached that age now where I've got normal glasses, and reading glasses, <laughs> and I just hate, you know, constantly mm -hmm. swapping and changing, so. Maybe you need to go for some, is it the, what's the up and down the ones? The very focal ones. See, my Ben got those. Yeah. Has he? Um, so like my husband said I should go for them, but I don't know. They just they make me feel old. I, I want a pair of the ones that go turn into sunglasses when you're in the sun, and then normal glasses when uh, you're inside. Yeah. My sister had a pair of those. I mean, I'm not sure they're the most modern, but how cool to never need to take a pair of sunglasses and a pair of normal glasses out. Yeah. But my sister had some and. Um, it takes quite a while for them to Does adjust it? when you go in. So she's in inside quite a while before they adjust and she can, it looks like normal glasses on again, so. Oh, right, maybe not. <laughs> so I'm just, I don't know why I'm doing that. You don't want to see me doing that. So I'm just getting all my bits. So, yeah, I'm just, so that's all my bits. So there's one I, I cut earlier, that's the one there. And um, so what I would do is, so in my second piece, so I'd, I'd run it through again, and then I fussy cut out um, some of my flowers. Because then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring my ink pads in. So I've got my honey pot and my orange. And I'm just going to, in fact, I'm going to use a dauber for this because I want to get into the centre of my flower. So let me just get one of these out. So I'm going to go in with my orange, just into the centre, just gently, because it's quite an intricate dye. And then go the same on all three. Probably be a bit easier to dab rather than... Um, you know, rub like you would normally if you was uh, using these. So that's just the middles, and I'm going again. I'm going to use a dauber because they're quite delicate. I find this easier. Merlin's got the uh, magic glasses. She loves them. She says, "Joe, my glasses turned dark when I'm outside. It's awesome, so I don't have to have two. Yeah, I, think I need to give them a go. Yeah." It is a good idea. Well, it is if you can ever get, at the minute, trying to get in with an optician is nigh on impossible. Is it, is it, is it hard work? It really is. Oh. So. Maybe there's a bit of a, a, uh, a shortage in Royal Norfolk. Is it Royal Norfolk? Is it, it the Royal is. County of Norfolk? It is, isn't it? Yeah. It is, yeah. So Michelle is next door to the Queen, if you didn't know. <laughs> Literally next door. Yeah, she's at Sandringham at the moment, apparently. She is. Ooh. She's there until, uh, oh, she's going to be there until February, apparently. We pop by for a cup of sugar. Absolutely. <laughs> Take some of Ben Shortbread, oh, I'm she love it. should do, shouldn't I? Maybe sh he'll get the Queen's endorsement on it. That little crown thing that she... <laughs> she's got, she's got I don't a garden think she's room, that I was about to say I might have to move to Norfolk. Yeah. <laughs> The Royal Borough of Royal Norfolk. Norfolk, yes. Or maybe Royal Tunbridge Wells, she could be there <laughs> yeah. as well. Yes. Yes. 
So what we're going to do is, so we're going to make a little box with these. So box lid and box face. Yes, I know I'm tempting fate making a box, but I measured this like so many times um, before I come on air. So you say about making mistakes with these boxes. I've never seen you make a mistake with a box. <laughs> I, think, I it's, think it's a myth. I think it's because I've done it once and it, it like, it scars you. Right. Because, it's, because I make so many of them and then I made a mistake and I'm like, oh my God. So I think it's it scarred me a lot. I think you're right. I think you're back on the horse. <laughs> So, um, so we'll quickly put my base together. So my box size is going to be three inches by seven and a, a half when it's um, finished. And I'm just going to use my tape pen for these. So. We've started quite the debate about transition lenses in the comments now. <laughs> Katie says, those are called transition glasses, Joe. I also found they changed slower than they showed on the TV. I gave up on them. Oh. Uh, Karen says, I'm with you, Michelle. Not quite ready for bifocals. I do have a pair yeah. of readers I add to my glasses when I'm doing table length crafting, Ooh. reading or embroidery. I just take my glasses off and adjust the distance. Maybe we could get you some glasses that have got like the filo lenses on the top that flap down <laughs> and you flap them back up. <laughs> What do you think? I That'd be great. That. that sounds great. They could be electric. They could operate them in the gallery for you. Could be like remote controlled. Aww. That'd yeah, be great. I like that idea. Can you imagine? That'd be amazing. Uh, so Donna says uh, she is uh, coming on the debate of the transition lenses. There are different darknesses to the eyeglasses. The darker the prescription, the longer it takes for them to change back to clear. Okay. So I, I'm all right with a hint of a tint. I'll be all right with that. So maybe we'll be good. Who knows? Uh, Laura says, Joe, I ride a Vespa. How cool. And I wear bifocals. The helmet has a transition face shield. So outside it turns completely. Transition oh, face shield. Amazing. Cool. So if you can see, what I've done with this one is I've just used one of my pens and I've just coloured in the leaves. And I'm just going to stick it into the middle. But I thought you don't want to see me just colouring. I'm not, I haven't done a three blend, uh, a three shade blend. I've literally just, just coloured it in, in a green. And I'm just gonna figure out where these go and then glue them down. So for this again, I'm gonna use my um, dotty tape pen, very carefully, and find where it goes. And I can either have a bit of a, a shadow on it or not. I think I'm going to have a bit of a, a white shadow on them. I quite like that. And again, I'm looking at the, this black box and I'm thinking that would look lovely with some um, of the um, Pebio gilding wax on the edges. I, I like it just to, when I edge it, I just think it makes your box pop. So it's all these, just all these little things that all add up to make everything just that little bit more, what was the word you used the other day? Um, Joe, je ne sais, no? Je ne sais quoi. Yeah, je ne sais quoi. Oh, I got it right. I'm not sure right. what it means, but uh, <laughs> it seems to do the job. Uh, Gilmore says, sometimes the dark shade doesn't fade as fast as you want when you pop indoors. That's something else we're hearing, isn't it? Yeah. Sharon says, the transition lenses don't get dark enough for me when I'm outside. I mean, oh. it's a real Goldilocks situation with these transition lenses, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Caroline says, I've worn Verifocals for around eight years now, and I love them. Uh, Eleanor Schwing Jones says, I love these daubers. They make it so much easier to get into the small areas. Yes. Glad they've become available again. Uh, Rebecca says, I really need to get some of those. Talking about the daubers, it's just one of those things that I don't think about until I need to get into a small spot. Well, they are in stock right now over on the website, so don't miss out of them. They are forever selling out. They come in and out of stock so often, but they are in right now over there. So, just... So what I'm doing with this is I'm just taking my thumb and burnishing my edges. I, I always do it with a box because sometimes when you put them together, when they're just um, slacking a little bit, I just take my thumb across the bottom and it gives you that lovely, well, it just straightens it all up lovely for you. So let's get that on. And I am, I'm going to bring in, um, I'm going to bring in this gold. So this is the Empire Gold. And I think it'll 
go lovely with those flowers. So again, I'd love to edge with it. I mean, obviously there's so many uses with it, but it, I think it just finishes it off just that little bit when you just edge, especially a black card. Let me scoop that bit up and put it back in. So, I mean, you can see how little that I've used. So how far um, your little pots of um, wax are going to go. I mean, you, they're going to last you forever. Well, not literally forever, but, you know, um, nearly forever. So I'm just going to put a little bow on the top there. And I have a little, in fact, I've got my little best wishes. So, yeah, quick. Um, edge with there I don't want it perfect or straight and I'm going to just put a bit of glue on the back of that and I think I will tuck that just under there and that is my little box beautiful so there you go absolutely gorgeous got a really really lovely way of using them and i guess if you had a wider box you could use multiples couldn't you do it like a triptych box almost absolutely. if you wanted to yeah uh, stephanie says we should all just go to aruba for a few months is her um her suggestion i'm down with that absolutely. she says michelle you're making me dream of next summer with your roses not looking forward to the deep freeze here in new jersey maybe we should just all head to aruba for a few months in the caribbean yeah. I'm, I'm up for that up for that definitely um Kate says, oh, I love that on the black, Michelle. Sharon Horn says, I've been loving your tip of using the gilding wax on the box edges. And Mary Pat says, stunning box, Michelle. Right, we are going to take a quick break, give you an opportunity to check out whilst we do that. Here's all the details of US shipping. Take a look. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Achieve crisp, precise, and perfect die cutting results every time with the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim. The idea behind the plastic shim is that it creates a thicker plate combination, offering an even more precise die cutting result with each pass. Simply pop a plastic shim between your cutting plates and then roll through your Gemini die cutting machine and voila, an amazing precise cut every time. Plastic shims work really well with detailed or thin metal dies. So if intricate cutting is your thing, then the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim is your best friend. 
There are plastic shims sized to work with a whole range of Gemini machines. And for just $14.95 or £9.99, the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim can be yours today. Ah, oh, very, very busy uh, on this. Uh, uh, see, I always nearly said Wednesday evening. And you know why I said that, don't you? Because I thought it was Wednesday. No, because normally Creative Car Evenings is on a Wednesday, but we did have a Sarah special cartload last night, some of the deals of which are still live over on the website. So do go check them out uh, after this show. Uh, so we switched Creative Cravings to tonight. So that's why we're all a little bit confused. Uh, but tomorrow is Friday all day and it's the last day of our Week of Wonder event as well so it means that we're going to have more launches for you and still continuing that double point all the way up until the end of tomorrow. Uh, now let's take you back through the Christmas 3D and pumpkin die set that we've got for you. Uh, these are the dies that you're going to receive so you're going to get the festive pumpkin, the elegant star, the winter opulence and then also the grande bauble. Let me show you some of the things that these make for you. You've got this one here, your pumpkin. Boink, boink. Uh, you've got the star here as well, which you saw Andrew demonstrating a little while ago. And then those two styles of baubles, this being one of them. And therefore, you get that lovely big bow die included as well. 38.97 or 44.07. Uh, brilliant saving for you as well. Saving over £20, uh, over $23 if you are in the US. Uh, and I believe Michelle is going to take us back through one of these. Is that correct, Michelle? Yes. Um, so we're going to have another play with the Grande Barbo. Grande Barbo. Love it. Winter Opulence. They're very Andrew words, aren't they? They are, Grande yes. Day and opulence. <laughs> so let's pop these out of. So again, so your winter opulence is your extra um, middle sections, giving you um, more options on the decorative um, elements. As you can see, you, with the two together, you've got um, lots of choice. So we're going to go for the outside piece of both of these. And I've got some of our textured card stock. And I just thought those two colours went beautifully together. So we will just cut this down so it will go through my machine. So. Uh, Renetta says, Michelle, I love all your makes. And Joe, you cheer me up. I think you're so funny. Thanks, Aww. Renetta. That's nice. Isn't it lovely? It is. So let's get this taped down because I'm going to put my middle bits in as well. Oh, it's there. So I think this time we'll go for these ones. And, you know, you could, um, you could mix and match these. They don't have to um, be exactly the same on all four sides. You can have all four sides different if you like of your um, barbell. Entirely up to you. That personal preference is yours. So let's just line that up nicely and let's so let's put this on as well. We'll just cut that down. Nice that we've given you the option to remove the intricate detailing as well with yes. these. So, you know, if you did want to make something more simple, if you were batch making, you wanted to make a lot of them, you can just make them in a more simplistic fashion if you want, can't oh, you? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, that's what I love about um, lots of our stuff. Have the the mats and layers, um, you know, that you can use. So you can use them with or without, which is. Um, it's very cool because it gives you more options. It gives you the choice as to how you want it for each um, different projects that you're going to make. And then each project that you make, because you can um, swap and change all the, the middle bits in and out, um, you get such a wonderful amount, a wonderful, a wonderful selection of selection, I was going to say. <laughs> I love a selection of a selection. Do you know what? Do our, the, our selection boxes still a thing anymore? Yes. yes. I haven't seen one for ages. Like years, in fact, I haven't seen a selection box. Yeah. They used to just be like a tray, didn't they? Like You need to go into a supermarket and go down a particular aisle. The right. seasonal aisle. They are there. They are there, are they? they oh, really, I thought they were yeah. just a thing of the past selection boxes. Oh, no. We used to get... I mean, I think one year we got about 17 selection boxes as a kid. <laughs> 
That's a lot. It's a lot, isn't that's, it? That's, that's, lot that's lot. excessive. So just let me just move that to the side. So I actually um, I put that through t with two layers, and as you can see, if I just pop all those out, it's cut oh, both nice. layers. For um, anyone that doesn't know what a selection box is in the US, I'm not sure if you guys have them. It's just basically like a big carton of chocolate, isn't it? With yeah. like lots of different chocolate bars in it. Yep, from a particular chocolate maker. Various yeah, ones, from a so. particular manufacturer. Yes. Fabulous, love them. It's very much like um, I described our selection box of pens. You know the limited edition box we yeah, had? Yeah, don't eat those, the, though. Don't, no, yeah, no, no, don't, don't eat, eat those. those. But that was like a selection box it of was, yeah. a little bit of everything, wasn't it? It is indeed. Oh, should we get some chocolate on the way home, shall we? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oof, yes, all right, let's... <laughs> Only problem is when you go down that chocolate aisle, you sort of want one of everything. When you're fancying it, you're like, oh, I'll have a bit of that, a bit of that. Oh, yeah. is that just me with the excess? I'm having one of those, <laughs> I'm having one of those weeks this week where I just can't stop eating, Michelle. You know, every now and then you have a week, don't you? You just want to eat everything all week. That is this week for me. Yeah, and we all have those, don't we? And I think when you've run out of Ben's cookies, look at that. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Love that. I know, I know, it, I need to, I mean, you know, Come on, Ben. You didn't make enough last time. <laughs> he only made about 300. Uh, Michelle's going to need like a separate <laughs> wheelie case soon to get all of Ben's bakes on the train at this rate. I know. It is, a, yeah, it's... My bag of cookies and, and goodies is heavier than my huge suitcase. It really is. My, oh my. Worth it, though. Uh, Journalin says you wouldn't have to buy any decorations when you can make them with these dies. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, uh, Katie says the boink boink on the pumpkin, Joe. Crying, crying, crying face. I don't think Katie's ever going to. Uh, let me give you, I'll give you a boink boink specially for you. Boink boink. There you go. <laughs> It wasn't in time. How dare you, Adam? All right. <laughs> boink, boink. <laughs> Happy now, Adam? Oh, so, tough crowd tonight, Michelle. Tough crowd. So I will just move a little bit of this mess just so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got my two, um, two pieces. So you will need two pieces to make your barbell. And again, um, I'm going to take these to the edge of my desk and I'm going to curve it. So it just helps when you're trying to put these together once you've got that curve it's in just there. your signature move michelle this has become i think so yeah i do i do do it a lot but um it's worth doing michelle's if, counter curve counter curve i like that yeah you can get that patented i should yeah i absolutely should but you can see as i've put those there how much of a curve it gives them so it's definitely worth it, especially um, the thicker of a GSM you go up, it definitely is worth it because when you're curving them over, you don't want them to crease. You don't want that ugly crease in there. Oh, ugly crease ugly is crease, the worst. No, <laughs> absolutely. Do you think using a rolling pin would also help? Oh, absolutely, help? yeah. I never thought about doing that. Uh, but yeah, you could um, you just hold them, you cur curl them, curve them round your, yeah. your rolling pin, definitely. Nice. Top tip, Andrew. I never thought of doing that, but absolutely. So again, I don't have any so split pins or brads, whatever you want to call them. So I am going to, I'm not going to use the wet glue this time. The wet glue wasn't my friend earlier. To hold it forever. It's worth it, you know, holding, holding it up. Um, uh, Catherine has just said exactly what I thought. To me, the larger die when it was cut out and flat on the mat looks like a bikini top. I've said it before and I completely agree. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it absolutely does. I wish I could get... Uh, no, I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> no, well done, Michelle. But just sometimes you've got to bail out of a, you know... Yeah. And, and I think I should be aware of what I'm saying and bail out more often. Right, okay. But sometimes I Don't be afraid just to, just to stop yourself dead if you're going to get yourself in trouble. <laughs> the thing is, though, inside my head, it sounds totally normal and fine. And then when I say it out loud, I'm like, this what is you why you for? shouldn't be allowed to speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Journalin says she's been using that... Um, what does she call it? She says the... Uh, counter edge works perfectly to curl the shapes uh, i've been doing that i uh, since see you do it michelle there you are oh 
it's just all these little hints and tips that we all share with each mm. other that you, you use and you think, oh, I never thought of doing that. And I think sometimes it's something that we just came across by accident ourselves anyway. So, so again, I've, um, I've taped both because I find you get such a stronger hold when you glue in two glue tabs together that are both glued. A little bit of a tongue twister then. So just give them a good press. And again, on the third one. So yeah, I did say earlier, don't do what I did and accidentally cut some of those tabs off thinking, well, I don't need them all on all sides, because you do. So again, I think, as Andrew was saying before, read your instructions. <laughs> yes, read instructions. Yes. You should always read the instructions. Absolutely. I never do that. I'm the worst for that. I think, though, some instructions you get with some, especially furniture. Oh, definitely. So you can't, it's not no. even readable, is it? So, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. So I'm going to tape all these, gently removing it from my counter where I've stuck it. But that's the beauty of this glass mat. It just wipes off perfectly. So let's stick all those together. Give them a good press. And... So I'm going to hold that and what I'm going to do is so I can give that a good burnish, I'm going to just stick my pokey tool through there and press it from underneath and then I can get that really good burnish on there. So then quickly, so I've got two of these and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip the end off of one to make it into the bottom piece. Um, so what I'll do is I'll fold that one over and then I can follow exactly where I cut on the first one and then they're going to be the same on both sides. So for this, again, we're going to uh, fold those into the middle and you can see, because I've curved these on the edge, that's folded over and curved beautifully. I haven't got a crease there um, in my paper making it look a bit, a bit not worthy of being a bow. I was trying to say something really nice then. So, I am stuck to it again. So Catherine wants to know, do they still sell Mars selection boxes in the UK that used to come out at Christmas in the shape of a Christmas stocking? I used to love getting those as a kid, yes. but I can't find them here in the US. Uh, I oh. believe they do. I do love a Mars bar, you know. I, oh, I love also, a Mars ice cream. Do you? Or From yeah. Mars bar rice crispy cake. Mars bar ice cream, yeah. No, Mars bar rice crispy cake. Mars bar rice crispy cake. I must say, Christina in the uh, canteen, oh my gosh, she makes them in the canteen. She's been knocking it out of the park this week. I had a lasagna today. She and has. Oh my word. Yesterday was a chicken and stuffing bun with gravy on it. Oh. Yeah, with potato wedges. Oh. I mean, I look Mars. forward to coming to work every day just to see what the lunch is going to be. <laughs> Honestly, that lady is incredible. She and her cake is a genius. I, I like really a Mars is. bar from the vending machine because it's cold. Yes. Mm. Oh, I like my chocolate mm. in the fridge if I'm yeah. going to have it. Yeah. It has to be in the fridge. Absolutely. Mm. And my husband says that is like, no. He puts these in the cupboard. But saying fridge. that I think um, milk chocolate is better in the fridge, but right. dark chocolate in the cupboard. In the cupboard. What if you had to have a favourite chocolate bar, Andrew, what would it be? Cadbury's Dairy Milk. Cadbury's Dairy Milk. Yeah. Oh, okay. But as I've got older, I'm going to have to say Bourneville as well. Bourneville. Yep. Yeah. Very posh. <laughs> they're, they're definitely posh they're saying in the gallery. <laughs> right, so we're nearly done. I'm really quickly gonna peel that off and hope it doesn't pop open because I want to put another one underneath there. And then so I'm gonna just put a little bit more tape on really carefully. And I'm going to stick that back on. I'm going to pop my pokey tool back through the middle so I can give it a good press together. And then, so that's my finished. Love that. Barbell. Absolutely wow. love that. Did you want to get ready for card the show? Absolutely. I'll just recap mm. exactly what you're getting in here. Where have I put them now? Over here. 
Uh, you are getting then uh, in here the festive pumpkin, which is this one just here. You are getting the elegant star. You also got the winter opulence and of course the grande bauble in there as well. Uh, here is a little look at what they make for you. Just for Katie. Boink, boink. Uh, you've got the pumpkin there, you've got the star, and you get a couple of different styles of the bauble in there as well, which is fantastic. Right, demo of the show, Michelle. Um, I can't quite remember what order I did them in. I think oh, it this matter. was the number one. So we'll just number them up. So we've got number one, and I did find, I found my bow. So I've got a lovely polka dot bow on there. So number one, uh, number two, so those stamps. Mm -hmm. um, Andrew's beautiful star is number three. Um, box is number four. And then my barbell is number five. We are going to have to make this super quick because we've also got card of the day to do after this as well. Ooh. I've just realised you've got literally 30 seconds to vote. Uh, Crafters TV <laughs> on Facebook, Crafters Companion, if you are over on YouTube. Uh, we are going to go back to the hero tool for you. Uh, a really brilliant selection of scoreboards, five of them, uh, in fact, in here. So you're going to get the score master in here, which is fantastic. You've then got the Enveloper Pro, which is the one here. It's going to make all your different envelopes for you. Uh, you have got the Boxer Board in there as well, which is that one. Uh, the Top Score, which is this one here. And you are also then going to receive the um, Velobox Creator. That one is just there as well. So you're going to get all five of those. £44 or dollars if you are a Platinum member. It gets you all of those, uh, which is fantastic. We are going back to those centrepieces. I'm just keeping an eagle eye on the chat to see when, how quickly that card of the show comes through. Uh, let's run you back through the different designs and you've got here eight in this particular collection. Uh, so you've got this one here with the cat. You've also got the dog there as well. Uh, you've got those beautiful butterflies. This one here is the rose. You've got the unicorn, which is, oh gosh. I've had a right mare, haven't I? See what I did there, mare, unicorn? Hey! Uh, <laughs> you've also got the fairy in there as well. Demo of the show is number four, Michelle. Uh, it's the box. Yay! Uh, excellent. Did you What's want to fling it over here for us? Fling it. You, no, don't actually fling it. <laughs> but just, you know, would you like to just, you know, I'll gently, I'll carefully pass it, it to me? <laughs> uh, all eight of those coming your way. 59.94, 77.70 if you want to get your hands on those. Thank you very much. Right, demo of the day. We have Andrew's centerpiece creator card. We also have Debbie's a box from launch day. Those inner panels in there. Or we have Michelle's box from Creative Cravings. You have got a minute to vote, uh, one minute to vote. So get those mi uh, votes in. You haven't even checked, you've got, you've got 30 seconds to vote. Get them in. Right, uh, interchangeables. I need to quickly remind you of those. Um, you have loved these in this show. The great thing about these is getting stamps and of course you're getting stencils uh, in here as well. 51.96 or 59.80 if you want to get your hands on uh, these particular ones. You get five designs within there which is excellent. So you are getting the Violet Roses, Wild Meadow, Classy Florals, Yuletide Foliage and the Holly and Poinsettia as well. Uh, right, big thank you uh, to Andrew. Can I say it was an absolute pleasure uh, to get to meet you today Andrew and to spend some time in the studio. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I have Joe. yeah it's nice to meet you too and also Michelle again and stuff. So yeah, so really and uh, Really enjoyed my day and uh, thank you for making me feel so welcome. Brilliant. Well, uh, have a safe journey home. I'm no doubt we'll be seeing you back in the studio very, very soon. Also, big thanks to Michelle. We're just waiting for this. We're just waiting for it. A uh, big thank you, uh, Michelle. When are you back with us here on Crafts TV? Uh, Monday. I'm back on Monday. Monday. Yes, Monday. Excellent. How long are you here for? Just Monday. Just Monday? Just Monday oh. next week, yeah. I won't see you next week then. Oh, we spend I'm, so much time together. I know. Do you think there'll be any goodies left on Wednesday when I arrive from Monday? Um, I'll hide some at the house for you. You what, sorry? You hide, hide some? some yes. Hide some at the house. Yeah. Brilliant. Excellent. <laughs> uh, demo of the day is number two. Uh, Debbie's box.
box, yeah. uh, which is fantastic. Uh, right, big thanks to you guys as well. Big thanks to Johnny and Adam next door in the gallery. They caused mayhem today. Uh, Jake as well is out the back. Big thanks to him. Uh, and of course, big thanks as always to you guys. Remember, our Week of Wonders event continues tomorrow. Wake up call, uh, midday, 7 a.m. with myself and Debbie. That brilliant launch for you, 3 p.m., 10 a.m. Uh, and then another amazing launch. Join our Color Me Happy show, myself and Debbie Robinson all day with you tomorrow, 7 p.m., 2 p.m. for that last show. Uh, have a great day, enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.